think I want it this way? You think I want to be gross with you? You think I want to punish you? No one should be closer than we two, Faith. But you keep betraying me. You betray my trust, my friendship, and yes, my love. You betray my love and you make it ugly. I don't really want to hurt you, but you do it to yourself. It's your fault. And I get punished. It's my fault and it's you who should be punished. You know that, don't you? You know you deserve what's going to happen to you now. My head, Faith. You're going to be very sorry for that, Faith. You are. Yes, you are. I put up very patiently with all your tricks and disrespect. But now, I have no choice but to punish you severely. Help! Help, Daddy! Help! Somebody! What? Help what did me! What you do to me, Faith? Help me! What did you do to me? Help! He's here! You hurt me, Faith. Help me! You hurt me badly. Help, Daddy! Help! After all I did for you. Help! Daddy, help me! Help me! Help! Daddy, help! I'm coming, babe! Help! This Wednesday on an all-new Being Erica. Last time I saw you, you went back to the future. A few weeks ago, Kai came back on a regret and told me that the next time he saw me, we would sleep together. I'm not asking you for a relationship. I just want one night. I just need to think about it. I don't think you should go through it. I think you deserve someone a lot better. Don't look at me like that. I'm really confused. If you really need this kind of hand-holding, maybe you're not ready. Hi. Being Erica. All new this Wednesday at 11, only on SoapNet. The people you least suspect will betray you. On General Hospital, Damien Spinelli has seen it all. Spinelli? <gasps> Damien Spinelli is a man of action. The Jackal has solved many mysteries. <laughs> and now he tells all. It's true, I, I'm writing a novel. You're writing a book. It's the book everyone in Port Charles didn't want published. Mm. At least the names have been changed to protect the guilty. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli. Available April 5th at abc.com and wherever books are sold. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I gonna lose this weight? E-Diet's Meal Delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiet. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food, one week of weight loss, one week of success, free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now.
That's no political strategy session Frank's having up there. That's a pre-election victory party. Yeah. I can smell it, my dear, I can smell it. We're going to have another Ryan victory. Our son is gone to Congress, Mrs. Ryan. John, yeah. that's wonderful, but let me down. Ah, what is it? Jack Finelli is waiting for you. Where? Out in the bar. I think you better talk to him in here. What do you do? Yes, I'll go get him. And when I bring him in, please, for Mary's sake, put a lid on it, will you, John? All right. Jack. Mr. Ryan, you went up to the Bronx to see Sister Mary Jo. Now, just you wait a second. No, 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 no. You wait a minute. I've been waiting an hour for you out there in that bar. Yeah. Because you have the nerve to meddle in a part of my private life that no one touches. No one. Oh, Unless really? I say so. Yeah. You mean you screen the sister's uh, social calls, is that it? Look, I'm in no mood to trade wisecracks with you, Mr. Ryan. You may think this is some kind of joke, but to me it's damn serious and a personal thing. Well, I happened to go to the Bronx yeah, because I... I know I... why you went to the Bronx, and I know why you went in secret. In secret? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Fanelli? The sister knows Mary, and I figured Mary that Mary was the... invited to meet Sister Mary Jo. You were not. You weren't asked, you weren't wanted, you just barged in. Insensitive as you are, never crossed Look, my I'm not mind that even you could stoop so low. All right, now just wait a minute. Let's just be quiet and put a lid on things. Let's just try not to lose our tempers for once in our lives, all right? Now you're putting some kind of conspiracy on this thing, and it isn't. Mm -hmm. No, what is it then? Look, I went to see the sister because. I've been trying to figure out what's been going on around here. I figured I had a right to certain answers, and she might give them to me. You had a right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have some distorted idea. Your rights, Mr. Ryan. As Mary's father, I have the right to try and understand and come to grips with the man who says he loves her. Oh. That's my right. Then you ask me. What have I been doing these last months? And I've given you all the answers I have. Well, they haven't been good enough. Well, that's just too bad. All right, now, look, you had your say, now give me mine, all right? Now, I went up to see that sister because Mary tells me she raised you up practically and uh, she's supposed to understand you and I figured she might have had some inkling about how you're feeling. See, I, I have to know, really have to know if, well, if I can trust you, if Mary can trust you. Mm -hmm. I may not have had a family like you have, Mr. Ryan. I mean, the way you think of family. But I have a sense of order in my life, a set of values, some rules I go by when dealing with other people. And the first one, and Sister Mary Joel taught it to me, is to mind my own business. Well, if you don't think my daughter is my business, What I you've been help. doing, Mr. Ryan, is just plain meddling. Only this one tops it all. Now, get off my back. I'm not some kid who needs a monitor, especially not you. All right. All right, Mr. Order. Mr. Set of Values. What are some of the other rules you live by, huh? Love them and leave them. Is that one of them, ah. right? Is that why you never got married? Never make a commitment. Is that another one, mister? Yeah, you've been with lots of girls, but you never shared anything. You never gave them anything. You got rules you live by, mister, but you've been living by them too long. I think you're too set in your ways to change. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm not going to stand around and, uh, let Mary try to adopt your set of rules, mister. She's got a whole set of values that are better and more sensitive and more human uh, than you yours. You just can't and stand you're not... to see anybody free of you, can you, Mr. Ryan? Hmm? Now, wait a minute. Don't you lecture me about freedom, boyo, oh, because that's it. I've that's got it. a That's thing what you or two. want, right? John, John. Me to be your boyo, right? John, keep it civil. Uh -huh. I'm trying, but the man's impossible. Yeah, yeah, well, it's about time you learn there's yeah. some things in this world you can't control, huh? Change. Runs in the family, doesn't it? Trying to govern other what people's lives, huh? What in the world huh? is going on? I can no. hear you from the street. The street, that's the first good idea I've heard all night. Jack, what happened? Your family's what happened, Mary. It's more than I can take. Now, what have you done? Well, it's the same old it's thing. It's the same as what, Da? I have to tell you that Jack behaves like that only one place, here. And only under one particular set of circumstances when you're grading him. Mary! I can't help it, Ma. I've had it. And I want it settled now. You all right? No, he was here. What happened? He was here, Daddy. I, I heard him. I, I didn't know. 
I don't know what to do. He was, he was right here. Daddy! Where'd he go? I don't know. He's in here. Daddy! Officer! Officer, he's been up here. He must have headed to the roof. Daddy, be careful. Please be careful, Daddy. You'll be treated very carefully. I don't need any help. Leave me alone. Kenneth, the police are all around here, but look, if, if you come with me now, Kenneth. Here, no, don't touch Kenneth, me. Go Kenneth, away. Kenneth. Ah! Kenneth. I think maybe you better see what's going on. Not until I'm sure that you're safely on your way. You want to punish me? It's fate who should be punished. Look, look what she did to me. Why can't people trust each other? Kenneth, trust me. No, get out of my way. Kenneth, Kenneth, if you, look, if you go down there alone, you'll go right into the hands of the police. But if you come with me, then they'll think you gave yourself up voluntarily. Don't you understand that? Everything will be much better. Get out of get my out. way! Get out. Ah! I don't know. It's something. Somebody's laying on the terrace. my dad. What happened? I, I don't know. You, uh... Listen, you, you better go. I, I'll deal with it. Uh... Is he dead? Just, uh... Just go. Just get out of here now. Dr. Collins? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Collins? He was on the roof. Fifteen seconds with Lisa Lo Cicero. The real beauty secret uh, would be that that when I'm working, there's like a team of professionals following me around and putting makeup and hairspray on me every time anything goes wrong. Catch Lisa La Cicero on General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. We don't swim in soda. Artificial colors don't rain nourishment down from the sky. And kids don't jump into pools of high fructose corn syrup or play in fountains of sugar on a hot summer day. Water is the pure choice for your mind and body. So drink better, live better. Embrace the pure life. Nestle Pure Life.
Cool filled with caramel? Not as good as chocolate filled with caramel. Introducing Milky Way Simply Caramel. Life's better the Milky Way. Did you know that Aquafresh Isoactive was just voted product of the year? In a national survey, thousands of Americans voted. Aquafresh Isoactive was the clear winner. We guarantee it'll be your favorite too or your money back. Try Aquafresh Isoactive. I love this baby. A hitman with a painful past. I'm asking you to love it enough to let go. The only way to protect his son. Let Lucky be this baby's father. Was to give him up. Single. Starting Thursday on General Hospital. Jake? It's the moment every mother fears. Jake! Jake got hit by a car. And now, three parents must wait and hope. You have to believe that our son is going to be okay. General Hospital. Mary, don't you think we might find a better time to go into all this? No, we've been putting it off too long. And then something happens, which ought to be nothing. And Da gets mad, or Jack loses his temper, or I get furious with everybody, and still we don't get down to dealing with it. Now, I cannot go on living in a constant state of turmoil over Jack. I cannot break myself in half. Half for him and half for my family. Mary, everybody's nerves are all exposed. Let them be. Maybe that's exactly what we need. With Da in such a short fuse? Well, maybe Mary's right. Maybe we ought to have it out right here and now. I'm sorry. What it comes down to is just this. Yeah. Do I, I or do I not have the right to make my own choices and determine my own life? Of course you do, but oh, when we see... Oh, there's the big but. Now, there cannot be any reservations in it, Da. But what are we supposed to do when we see you rushing headlong toward disaster and unhappiness? Just stand there, not do anything, and let you wreck your life? That's a judgment you're making on my decision. You're trying to control me. And if you keep on, I'm not going to have any choice but to leave. Mary, careful with your words. Threatening things that you don't mean are not going to help the situation. I'm any. not threatening, Mother. I am laying out my alternatives as clearly as I can. It's not like the last time when I left in a fit and pride. A lot has happened since then, and I'm trying to make them understand I can't take any more of it. You see that? It's happening just the way I thought it would. Finelli has succeeded in driving a wedge between you and your family. And if that's what he set out to do. Well, I'm not sure it isn't. Oh, come on, Da. He hates this family. He's jealous of this family. I haven't forgotten. The tricks he pulled on Frank when he was running for election, and you haven't either, was that the act of a fair man? Okay, Da. I didn't think so then. But I gave him a chance to show me what kind of a guy he really was, and I fell in love with him. Okay? Now that's where we are right now, Dal, but you won't accept that. And you take every opportunity to bait him. But me bait him? Oh, you better start seeing things right side up, girl, or you're in a lot of trouble. I do see things straight side up. Now, will you please just quiet down? It's not Jack, Da. It's your attitude toward Jack that causes all the problems. Now, if it weren't for you and everything that you do, you provoke it. Why, I... I have bent over backward further. John. Jeez. John. Uh. Ma. If he can't even get the words out of his mouth. Darling, it's been building up for a long time. Is he so mad at me that he can't even talk about it? Well, to be truthful, I've never seen him get so angry at one of his children that he didn't trust himself to stay in the same room. Well, then there is no hope for it. I am getting out. Mary, Mary, don't do something that you're not going to want to do. Think about I've it. I've thought about it, Mother, and I don't see how I can stay. The situation just gets worse and worse. I can't manage it. There's nothing you can't manage when you want to. Frank, I can't come through that door anymore expecting to walk into a full-scale battle. Do you know what that's doing to me? Da's going to be back here inside of an hour feeling guilty and ashamed Yeah, and himself. how long is that going to last? If I'm lucky, maybe through breakfast tomorrow. You know, it's not you he's mad at. You know as well as I do. If he's mad at Jack, he's mad at me. It's the same thing. No, it isn't. Whose side are you on, anyway? Your side, always. Which is why I don't think you ought to leave home on account of Jack Finelli. Because he's not worth the trouble, is that it? I didn't say that. Well, I... keep Mary in the house till she breaks up with Jack. At least till we're past the crisis. Mary. Mary! And if there's no crisis, well then, we'll see if we can instigate a crisis. Mary, that's not it. Well, I'm not gonna hang around until I find out what it is. I'm getting out. Now. <laughs> Take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless. Only on SoapNet.
Madison has it all. She's having her ex's baby. Me being pregnant does not mean that you get to run my life. And dating someone new. Madison, I'm not gonna let you go. But which man does she really want? Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Robin and Patrick. Lou Ann Mitchell posted on Facebook, Robin and Patrick will eventually find their way back after lots of angst, crazy Lisa, and much soul searching. And Jeanette Quartler adds, they definitely belong together. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. It's easy to get the calcium you need with Bioactive Calcium Soft Juice. Two soft chews each day give you 100% of the daily value of calcium plus the added benefits of vitamin D. With a great taste you'll enjoy, try Viactive today. Bacon? Gotta get that bacon! Smoky bacon, crispy bacon, tasty bacon! <laughs> Where is it? Where is the bacon? Bacon popular, story at 11. Yummy, crunchy bacon, bacon, bacon! There in that bag! <gasps> Who wants a bacon strip? Me, I get it myself, but I don't have thumbs. Mm, 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 it's bacon! Mm, I love you. I love bacon, I love you. I love bacon. Bacon strips. Bacon, There's no bacon, time like bacon, bacon time. Bacon, Share the fun at BaconTime.com. Your period lasts longer than a day. So do the cramps, uh, bloating, fatigue, uh, head, uh, and body aches. You need Might All Complete with three ingredients that stop all these menstrual symptoms every day of your period. Don't just get through your period. Mightalize it. We have our own way of thinking. We think sustainability is nothing new. We think justice is older than any government. We think we can grow radishes on the moon. We think education is for the mind and the spirit. We think Indian. Help tribal college students preserve their way of thinking. This week, he's running out of time. We will find David. Bo and Rex make a daring rescue. Then, a shooter is on the loose. This guy was a pro. We need to find him now. And Todd's life is on the line. I'm afraid I have bad news. Don't you dare die on me. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. 15 seconds with Kimberly McCullough. I'm so different from Robin, it's not even funny. I'm definitely not as smart as Robin. Uh, <laughs> definitely not as educated. I'm definitely um, crazier. But the one thing we do share is we're both bossy. Catch Kimberly McCullough in General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Nine years from now, something awful is going to happen here. Am I dead? Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Oh my god, what if I made a mistake? Being Erica, all new, Wednesdays at 11, only on SoapNet. The tow car's out front now, the ambulance is on the way. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... Listen, um, my partner's upstairs with his sister, and uh, she's in a bad way. She's been calling for him. Maybe you should go to her. Yeah. You, uh, you stay with him, please. Just... Stay with him, don't let him alone. Roger, what happened? Where's Daddy? Did they did they get him? Did they get him yet? Did listen, they find listen, him? Listen, just just take it easy and, and settle down. I don't want it to settle down. I want to find out what happened. Did they find him? Is he still around? I don't want him still around. I want them to find him. I I don't think they've caught him. They didn't catch him. Roger, he was here. He was he's right here. He's he's trying to kill me, Roger. He was in my room. Now listen to me, Faith. Just please listen. 
Dad was on the roof chasing Kenneth, and he fell. He's dead. Did you hear me, Faith? He fell into the courtyard. Are you listening to me? I left the policeman with him. Daddy, I love you so much. You're so good to me. Daddy, we're gonna... There's nobody now. Nobody cares about me. What do you mean? I don't have anybody. Nobody cares about me except Kenneth. Faith. Faith, you've got me. And we've got each other. Really, we do. And we have Jill. I guess I, I should go call Jill. Yeah. Go call Jill and tell her daddy's dead. Faith. Faith, please believe that we've got each other. And you've got the Ryans. No. I don't love anybody I want to love. Nobody wants me to love them. Nobody cares about me the way Daddy cared about me. I don't want you to feel so alone, Faith. I'm feeling what you're feeling. No, you're not, Roger. I am. No, you're not. And don't say you are either, because you're lying. Joe won't feel the way I feel either. Better go call Jill now. Tell her daddy's dead. Tell her it's my fault, too. Your fault? Yeah, it's all my fault. No, Faith, it isn't your fault. Yes, it is. It's my fault. I didn't do anything right. I didn't handle Kenneth right. I never handled Kenneth right. And he, he came to punish me. I shouldn't have run. I shouldn't have tried to get away. I shouldn't have asked for Pat so much. He came to punish me. And I, I should have let him punish me right now. But I, I didn't. And he killed Daddy. Honey, you're just talking nonsense. No, I'm not. You don't know Kenneth. He, he didn't have anything against Daddy. Only me. He wanted to punish me, but I heard him. And now Daddy's dead. Come on, please. Wait. Kenneth will be very happy now. Now he knows there's nobody who's going to protect me. He can punish me all he wants. He's not finished. <laughs> He's going to punish me and punish me and punish me. Oh, he won't. Yes, he will. I said he was. <laughs> oh, Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. Forgive me. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. <laughs> In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.